my babies. Hi. Oh, it's so good to see you all. I somehow feel a bit like your shepherd and you are the sweet flock. Um, and I have to slaughter one of you every week or sometimes three. Welcome, welcome Dynamites and Team Red Scare to the sixth week Woo! of Survivor TTS. Yes. yes! Make some noise, make some noise, come on. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Do it! Woo! Awesome. Great, 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 great. So, um, viewers at home and also all of our contestants here, you all had to eliminate some folks last week. So let's take a moment and remember on Team Dynamites, Lily and Brady left us last week. And on Team Red Scare, we lost Christian. Things are heating up. Who knows what's coming next? Let's get down to business, shall we? Tonight's immunity challenge. Okay, okay. All right. Is a game of memory. So, this is how it's going to work. There will be three videos that we will play for you, which means there will be three rounds. Each team for each round must select two contestants. I will give you 30 seconds before each round to select the two contestants that will play for that round. We will then play the video for you. We will screen share for, for both teams at the same time. At the end of the video, there will be five questions that we will ask. For each question, I will read the question and multiple choice options. And then you will have 15 seconds with your teammate in Slack to discuss what you think the correct answer is. At the end of those 15 seconds, as soon as I say the word time, one of, your, one of the, the teammates, we will dub them the round captain, that's something that you'll have to determine at the beginning of the round, will hold up on a piece of paper the letter of the answer that you are selecting. Anything else. Yes, Robert. If, if the, can the winning team not eliminate someone this week? Like, can that... Robert, I... Can we do that this week? Look, I just... You don't know what's going to happen on Survivor TTS. You're just going to have to wait and see. Can we go back to normal elimination, please? The fact I, we're that all... said that scares me very much. <laughs> Look, I, I, I just, I can't, things change so quickly. I mean, you guys know how life is like these days. Every hour is different than the last. I can't predict what's going to happen at the end of this episode. But I, I appreciate the question, Robert. I, um, I, I wish I could give you an answer. Okay, so... We have our two teams for round one, representing the Dynamites, we have Camille and Rich, and representing Team Red Scare, we have Matthew and Brett. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over to our producers to start the first video. Hands up, on screen. You know the specials by heart? Oh, yeah. What's our special today? Texas hash. Texas chicken hash, it's fantastic. When you come to Texas and you get hash, you gotta get it with chicken. Well, only here. Okay. This is my thing. In my thing? Word. <laughs> Season it, chili powder, garlic, just a handful, no measurement, a little bit of black pepper. We're gonna bake this, don't ask me how long, just till I can smell it cook done. You're a smell cooker. When I can smell it, then I know it's done. So no oil or anything, just pop no it in there, you got the chicken fat. Now what's gonna happen? We'll bring that out, chop it up. Gonna dice this up nice, a uh, little bit of butter. The whole farm on that one there. Yeah, potatoes. We're gonna brown them up, kind of a little crispy. We're gonna add a little bell pepper to it. We're gonna add some onions, black pepper. Then we're gonna add this chicken, we'll stir that in. A little Tony Satchery seasoning. You just let that crisp up. Hash is good. We're going to get us some of these tortillas, fried real crisp. Put this mixture on top of it. When you said hash, I didn't expect that. With a little queso on the top. What's in the queso? Milk, bell peppers, jalapenos, maybe one or two habaneros, slurry of flour and milk. A little roux. Thicken it up a little bit. And the cheese, American cheese. And that's it. And we just kind of drizzle that over the top. I and mean, it's a little spicy. No, here? No. Eaty spicy? Yeah, see, no. no. Tomatoes and avocados. Crunch up that tortilla Ooh. in there. That's the way I like it right there. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's great. That's some righteous ash, girl. Oh, you know what the kicker is here? The tortillas. Is the, absolutely. 
but the extra kicker, that cheese sauce, it's almost like a Mexican Alfredo. You gotta try this. Nice job. Thank you, sir. That is really good. Good. It's always kind of never hit or miss, because it's always a hit. Okay, the meat. You name it, everything tastes great. All right, that brings us to our first question. Again, as soon as I finish reading the last option, you will have 15 seconds. And when I say time, you must hold your answer up on screen. Question one, what color plate is the hash served on? A, red, B, orange, C, purple, or D, yellow? 15 seconds. All right, time! Answers up on screen. All right, Camille says B, Matthew says D. The correct answer was B, orange. That means Dynamites have scored a point. Moving on to question number two. Salt is one of the spices used to season the chicken. True or false? Both teams have selected false as their answer, and that is correct. So now we have Dynamites and Red Scare, each with a point for question two. Question three. How many rings is Guy wearing on his left hand? A, none. B, one. C, two. Or D, three. Camille says B. Matthew says C. How many rings is Guy wearing on his left hand? The correct answer is C, two rings. That brings Red Scare with another point. Question four. Which of the following is not an ingredient used in the hash? A, onion, B, bell pepper, C, jalapeno, or D, butter? Okay, so the Dynamites have said A, Team Red Scare has said C. Which of the following is not an ingredient used in the hash? The correct answer is C, jalapeno. That means Red Scare has secured another point. Question five, what form of physical affirmation does Guy give to the chef after he tastes her food? A, a high five, B, a handshake, C, a fist bump, or D, a hug? For the final question of round one, we have Camille and Rich with C and Matthew and Brett with D. What form of physical affirmation does Guy give to the chef after he tastes her food? The correct answer is D, a hug. That means Red Scare has secured the final point in the round. Congrats, this is Woo! a cumulative game, folks, so we'll have to see how rounds two and three go. All righty, so it looks like representing Team Red Scare, we have Zoe and Jordan, and representing the Dynamites, we have Grace and Kate. And uh, uh, go ahead and take yourselves off mute. That's okay, we can, we can hear you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey your, your intellectual grunts and groans. Yeah. So that brings us to our second video, hands on screen. Oops. Oh no, when kids take a sip, their drink cup slips, flips, and drips. Well, now parents can relax when they mess up. Introducing the Spill-Free Wow Cup, winner of the prestigious Mom's Choice Award. It's the amazing drink system where kids can roll, jump, and spin, and the drink always stays in. It's easy. Just add a favorite beverage, attach the spill-free lid, and they're off. Then you can drink anywhere along the rim, just like a regular cup. No more spouts, levers, or caps to worry about. Watch, using a clear bottom, look how this guy easily gulps down his drink. Then, after he's had enough, it automatically seals itself. Amazing! The secret auto-sealing technology that allows liquid to flow only when you drink. Once you stop, it forms a watertight seal, guaranteed. Even over this expensive computer, not a single drop of grape juice. Amazing! Mom and dads will never clean up messy drink spills again or change soaked outfits at the last minute. Wow Cup is BPA-free, virtually indestructible, and blocks dirt and debris from ever getting in. Use it to quench thirst on long trips or prevent embarrassing accidents in public places. And it's especially useful during the middle of the night. Perfect for kids of all 
all ages. Why hassle with straws, spouts, and small rubber pieces? With Wow Cup, just fill, twist, and sip, and it won't ever drip. Plus, it's dishwasher safe. Call now and we'll send you the award-winning Wow Cup in your choice of pink or blue for only $10. But wait, order right now and you can double the offer. That's right, you can double the offer. The amazing Wow Cup, just $10. This offer is not available in any store and supplies for this promotion are limited, so go online now. Call 1-800-341-1787 to order, but hurry and you can get a second Wow Cup with your order. Call 1-800-341-1787 or visit us online at www.wowcup.com. What are you going to ask us? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> to be honest, I really want one of those cups. You want one of those I remember, I remember that right commercial. And I, I spill yeah. stuff all the time. Question one. Which prestigious award did this product win? A. Mom's Choice, B, Parents' Favorite, C, Viewer's Pick, or D, Cup of the Year? All right, it looks like both teams have selected A as their answer. Which prestigious award did this product win? The correct answer is A, Mom's Choice. So that means each team has secured another point. All right, question two. When is the WOW Cup especially useful? A public places, B, the middle of the night, C, long trips, or D, at the dinner table. All right, so we have the Dynamites with B, Team Red Scare with A. When is the WOW Cup especially useful? The correct answer is B, the middle of the night. Wow. Dynamites with the point. I remember that one. Honestly, I think it would be especially useful in all of those locations, if you ask. It is, but especially useful at night. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Question three. Which of the following drinks do we not see poured into the WOW cup? A, orange juice. B, pink lemonade. C, milk. Or D, grape juice. Both teams have selected C, milk. Which of the following drinks do we not see poured into the WOW cup? The correct answer is C, milk. That is a point for both teams. All right, question four. What are the last four numbers of the phone number to call to order the cup? A, 1787, B, 2765, C, 1877, or D, 7857? So both teams have selected A. What are the last four numbers of the phone number to call to order the cup? The correct answer is A, 1787. One point for each team. All right, this is our final question for round two. What large animal is painted on the wall next to the girl who jumps off a bed? A, hippo. B, elephant. C, rhino or D, polar bear. So both teams have selected B. What large animal is painted on the wall next to the girl who jumps off a bed? The correct answer is B, an elephant. So we end the round with two more points, one for each team. Currently, our score is Team Red Scare with eight points and the Dynamites with seven. Oh. Hands up. <sighs> All right, this is the last round. Five questions, y'all. All right, we're ready for the video.
right. Y'all ready? Yes. Let's get into it. This is a tough round. Question one. Which of the following contestants is not wearing a necklace in their photo? A, Chad. B, John P. C, Brooke. Or D, John K. Red Scare has guessed A. Dynamites have guessed D. Which of the following contestants is not wearing a necklace? The correct answer is D, John K. Oh. Question two. True or false? The person bungee jumping is jumping into a body of water. All right, both teams have said it is false. The person bungee jumping is jumping into a body of water. That is correct. Both teams have scored a point. Amazing. Amazing. All right, question number three. Three questions left. What activity is Dolly doing in the video? A, blowing on a fire. B, paddling a raft. C, swimming. Or D, climbing a rope. All right, we have Red Scare has guessed B. Dynamites have guessed C. What activity is Dolly doing in the video? The correct answer is A, blowing on a fire. Neither team gets the point. Two questions left. What are the two team colors? A, red and blue. B, blue and green. C, green and yellow. Or D, yellow and red. All right, what are the two team colors? Both teams have guessed D. The correct answer is D, yellow and red. <gasps> All right, y'all, I don't know how you managed to do this. Every time you play a sticky what? game. Are you? Fucking serious? Currently tied. Um, okay. Leading to the <laughs> last okay. question of the night. Oh my god. Okay. What is the subtitle of this season of Survivor? A. The Maya Empire. B. Islands of Fire. C. Trial by Fire. Or D. Legends of the Past. Oh my god! <laughs> this season of Survivor. You're kidding. Oh. Have guessed B. The correct answer is B. Island of Fire. Cool. 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 <laughs> now, stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Everyone, you can come. Everyone on. is eliminated. We're done. <laughs> what does it mean? I'm hearing a double elimination coming, and I'm Make not it mad about sense. it. Make no. It <laughs> All right, y'all. So, um, of course, you did the one thing that we really didn't <laughs> anticipate happening. So awesome. we uh, we don't want to send. I'll just be honest with you. We don't want to send both teams to elimination this week. So, therefore, we have a tiebreaker challenge. In a moment, I'm going to give you 30 seconds, and you are going to each team will select one team member to represent them in this tiebreaker. You're kidding. <laughs> The tiebreaker, each contestant, so the two folks representing each team, will have 60 seconds to do as many burpees as they can. All right, so whoever are the two teammates that were selected, everyone else, please turn your videos off. All right, Rich and Brett, are you oh. ready? Yes, yep. All right, I'm gonna give you three, two, one, and on go, you will begin, and you have 60 seconds. Three, two, one, go! already lost track. They both look like they're kind of killing it, though. I need someone to keep track. Our producers are keeping track, don't worry. Good. Oh, man. We, we got the jumps.
20 seconds left. You can do it. You can both push. Brett, you've got this. Speed, speed, speed. Let's go, Rich. Let's go. Woo! You got a whole household on your side. Let's go. Brett, you have this so hard. You have to time. Time. Time, 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 time. I have the final count from my producers. It looks like Brett, you had 19, and Rich, you had 23. <laughs> That's Rich! I'm king! Literal king! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations, Dynamites. You played a great game. Rich, congratulations to you on your burpees. I don't envy you uh, or Brett right now, the way that you feel. Um, so congratulations on your win. Um, Team Red Scare, you know what this means. I'm very sorry to say that you will be heading to elimination. Uh, but we're going to be doing things a little differently this week. And we will actually be heading straight into elimination right now. So that means we have reached the end of our sixth challenge. <laughs> Dynamites, you have won. You are free to leave. <laughs> you know, I said it last week. There are a lot of you left, and there are not enough weeks left. And so we have to condense things a bit. So we are jumping, we are jumping right in. We actually will not be discussing or chatting at all tonight. We are going directly into a vote. Wow. So, as I call your name, please private message me in the Zoom chat the name of the contestant that you feel deserves to go home tonight. All right, this week we're going to start with Jordan. Next up, Brett. We have Zoe. Next up, we have Matthew, Fiona, and Robert. All right. Now at this time, I would like to ask if anyone has an immunity item that they would like to play either on themselves or on a teammate. Private message me now. All right. I will now read the votes. We have our first vote for Zoe. Second vote, Fiona. Another vote for Fiona. Another vote for Zoe. Another vote for Fiona. And finally, a fourth vote for Fiona. Fiona, uh, that means I'm so sorry to tell you that you have been eliminated from Survivor TTS and Team Red Scare. Wow, you guys. Do you have anything that you would like to say? I have to say I'm really surprised. Um, yeah. I wish you all the best. Um, good luck. <laughs> Fiona, you were a great competitor. Thank Honestly, you. Honestly, your energy was very welcome. I enjoyed it. You made me laugh a lot. Thank you. And also, just so you know, you have some fans on the Instagram. Oh, I've seen. And they're going to be upset at you guys. <laughs> Taking away their fan favorite. Just so you know. Uh, some fans are going to be pretty pretty upset. But, you know, that's what happens when Team Red Scare, when you've been to elimination every week. Uh, the fans love you. All right, well, Fiona, thank you so much. You are free to leave. Thank you. All right, y'all. Woof! Woof! That was awful. I had to slaughter another one of my children. Yeah. All right, y'all. <laughs> That's how the game goes. 
and we will move forward. Wow. Be ready for your next immunity challenge on Wednesday. No. <laughs> okay. I'm losing my mind. Life is, life is about being crazy and being yourself. And every day is crazy. As the poet laureate Naomi Smalls said, life's not fair. <laughs> he is a poet. Oh my Thank God. you for, for that title for Naomi. All right, y'all. That brings us to the end of our sixth challenge and elimination in Survivor TTS. Until next time. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. We have reached yep. the merge. Oh God! The merge. <laughs> oh God! So, hello. Hello. You're all on your own now. <laughs>